Hey, it's Dodger here. Let's do an advanced math question. In this given equation, k is a constant. The equation has exactly one real solution. What is the minimum possible value of 56k? Now, I want you to understand what one real solution actually means. And when we're referring to solution in this case, we're actually talking about x-intercepts. What is an x-intercept? Well, it's really just any point that has a y value of 0. So in this case, our x-intercept would be 0, 0. So we only have one solution because there's only one point within this graph touching the x-axis. But let's say there are no points touching it, then we have no solution. Let's say we translate down, then we have two points touching the x-axis, so we have two real solutions. So essentially what I just want you to understand is the only time we'll ever have one solution when it comes to a parabola is when we have the vertex, whether it be a maximum like this or a minimum like this. When the vertex is the only point touching the x-axis, that's the only time we have one real solution. Which means our y value of our vertex must be zero when dealing with one real solution. So when using that conceptual knowledge, we could actually very easily solve this through Desmos. So we're, if you were to do this by hand, you would use something called the discriminant, but we're not going to use that in this case. First, we're going to turn it to quadratic. We're going to square both sides, get rid of square root, and then we're going to subtract this because we subtract the entire thing. If we subtract from the right, we subtract from the left. That's from the property of equalities. And I want you to notice something. If I find the vertex of when k is equal one, k is equal to one in this graph, even if I change the value of k, the x value of the vertex is going to be the same. Why? Because k is a constant. The only thing that's changing is our y values. So because we know what our vertex is, what else do we know? We also know it's one real solution. And what do we know when it comes to the vertex and the graph being one real solution? Well, we know that our y value has to be zero because that's the only time you can have one real solution. So what we could do is we could define our function as f of x and we could take the x value of the vertex that we found and we could plug it into the equation. And since we know our y value has to be zero because it's one real solution, we could actually find k. And then we could simply do 56 times k and then boom, we have our answer 122.2857, blah, 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 blah. You can round yourself. And you could see, we even have a visual here and we could see that the vertex is touching the x-axis at exactly one point. So you could also use visuals to check your answer. There you go. I hope you learned something. Happy studying.